I'm Mary Hartnett with Siouxland Public Media News. The Woodbury County Auditor Pat Gill is considering appointing a replacement for Woodbury County Supervisor Rocky DeWitt. DeWitt won election to the state Senate last week, defeating incumbent Democrat Jackie Smith. Gill said at a news conference this morning that under the Iowa Code, a special committee of the Woodbury County Auditor, Attorney, and Treasurer will meet to decide whether to appoint someone or hold a special election. However, the committee cannot meet until Supervisor DeWitt formally resigns. If he does not formally resign, his seat would automatically vacate when he takes office January 9th of next year. The public can petition for an election with 10 percent of voter signatures in the district, or roughly 3,000 votes. Republican leaders in the Iowa House have created a standalone committee. It will take up any significant reforms to the state's education system in the upcoming legislative session. The Education Reform Committee will be chaired by House Speaker Pat Grassley. Governor Kim Reynolds has said she will revive a proposal that would use state funding to help certain students pay to go to private schools. Even with majority control, House Republicans have failed to pass her school choice proposals over the last two years. But after the midterms, the GOP majority is larger, and some members who opposed the governor's plans lost their primary elections to challengers Reynolds had endorsed. Woodbury County positive COVID-19 tests increased slightly last week, but community transmission rates remain low. That's according to the CDC. Data updated by the Iowa Department of Public Health yesterday shows 89 positive tests, which is up from 83 positive tests reported on November 8th. 67 positive tests were reported on November 1st. When community transmission is low, the CDC recommends individuals stay up to date with COVID-19 vaccines and get tested if they have symptoms. Wearing a mask is advised on public transportation and when a person has symptoms, test positive for the virus or has been exposed to someone with COVID-19. The Siouxland Big Give distributed checks to 100 organizations yesterday that took part in an online day of giving back on September 30th. Nearly 200,000 in total checks were handed out to representatives of those organizations by the Siouxland Community Foundation. That's Siouxland Public Media News. I'm Mary Hartnett.